3 I Atlas came from deep space, silent and unseen, slipping into our solar system on a path no one expected, a traveler from another star, crossing our skies for the first and only time. But now, what began as a scientific wonder has taken a darker turn. The trajectory of this visitor may not be as harmless as once believed. Could an object forged beyond our sun be steering toward Earth? And if it is, what kind of disaster would follow in its wake? The interstellar gatecrasher. In the vast emptiness beyond Neptune, where the sun is little more than a pale dot, something unusual appeared in 2025. It wasn't circling like the millions of comets that belong to the solar system. Its trajectory told a different story, a path not curved into an orbit but stretched outward into a hyperbola, the mathematical fingerprint of an object that came from somewhere else entirely. This was 3II Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever detected. That label alone gives it weight. For all of recorded history, no interstellar objects were known. Then, within a single decade, three arrived. The cigar-shaped mystery of Oumuamua, the comet-like Borisov, and now Atlas. Each has carried its own riddle. Oumuamua accelerated in strange ways, without releasing gas. Borisov looked more familiar, like the comets we know, but Atlas? It struck a balance between the two, active yet puzzling, bright yet inconsistent with expectations. Its velocity set the tone, roughly 130,000 miles per hour, a speed so great that not even the pull of the sun could hold it. This wasn't a body bound to our neighborhood. It was a visitor crossing through, destined to exit and vanish back into interstellar space. That reality creates urgency, a one-time chance to observe, to measure, to capture every clue before it slips away forever. What made 3I Atlas stand out wasn't just its speed or the fact that it was interstellar. It was the sense that its very existence challenged assumptions. If three of these objects can be found in under a decade, perhaps the galaxy is filled with countless more. Perhaps planetary systems are constantly throwing off fragments, scattering them into the void where they wander for millions of years until by chance, they pass through someone else's sky. 3i Atlas is one of those fragments, a gatecrasher from another star system. It doesn't belong to us, yet for a brief window of time, it is here, and it is leaving behind a trail of questions. JWST peels back the ice. When the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto 3i Atlas in August 2025, the spectrum it returned broke expectations. Most comets in the solar system bleed water vapor once the sun's heat wakes them. With Atlas, water was almost an afterthought. The dominant signal was carbon dioxide, overwhelming water by nearly 8 to 1. That ratio is unheard of. It marked this object as something forged in conditions far colder, far stranger than the regions that birthed the comets we know. Carbon dioxide wasn't alone. Webb's instruments picked up carbon monoxide, a gas so volatile it only clings to bodies formed in the deep freeze of space, and carbonyl sulfide, a compound rarely detected even in the most pristine solar system comets. These molecules are not background noise. They are chemical scars left from the place Atlas began, preserved for billions of years in its ice. Now for the first time, those scars are visible. The chemistry painted a picture of an origin story on the edges of another star system, a realm so distant that sunlight would have been little more than a glow on the horizon. In that environment, carbon dioxide ice could dominate, building a comet utterly different from the ones orbiting our sun. As Atlas crossed into our system and the sun's warmth reached it, those alien ices erupted outward, creating a cloud that reflected its foreign birth. This wasn't just an oddity on a chart, it was a reminder that solar systems don't follow the same recipe. Ours gave us water-rich comets. Somewhere else, in another corner of the galaxy, a different balance prevailed. Atlas carries that difference with it, visible now only because light split by Webb's detectors revealed it. For the short time it remains in reach, it offers proof that the chemistry of worlds can be written in many dialects. An Atlas speaks one we have only just begun to hear. JWST peels back the ice. When James Webb locked onto 3i Atlas in August 2025, the spectrum it captured 
looked nothing like a normal comet. The first shock was the chemistry. Water vapor, usually the main signature, was almost absent. Instead, carbon dioxide flooded the readings, outweighing water nearly 8 to 1. That single ratio was enough to tell astronomers this object was born in conditions our solar system never knew. Webb found more. Carbon monoxide appeared in strong amounts, a volatile that only survives in the deepest cold. Carbonyl sulfide showed up too, a molecule so rare that it barely registers in most comets studied before. Together, these compounds painted the picture of a birthplace far from warm, a region on the frozen edge of another star system where sunlight barely touched the ice. That origin explains Atlas's strange behavior. When it crossed into our solar system and the sun struck its surface, it didn't react like the comets we know. Instead of a steady release of water vapor, Atlas erupted with exotic gases, fueling activity that seemed outsized for its size. The glow around it wasn't just a coma, it was a chemical fingerprint, announcing in plain light that this visitor carried a different recipe. Every comet is a time capsule, but Atlas revealed more than that. It showed that not all systems build their comets the same way. Our solar system favors water. Somewhere else, carbon dioxide took the lead. Webb's instruments caught that difference in detail, line by line, molecule by molecule. For the short time Atlas remains here, its chemistry is a window into an alien workshop, proof that the galaxy doesn't follow one set of rules. The coma mystery. As 3i Atlas drew closer to the sun, its coma the glowing cloud of gas and dust around it began to misbehave. Instead of the steady, predictable haze seen in most comets, Atlas flared and faded like it was running on its own strange rhythm. One moment the halo swelled to a size out of proportion with its nucleus, the next it dipped, only to surge again. The light it threw off didn't just grow, it pulsed. That behavior pointed back to its chemistry. Most comets here release water vapor first, boiling off in a fairly even flow. Atlas had little water to give. Its main drivers were carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, ices that don't sublimate in the same way. They ignite at different thresholds of heat, bursting outward in uneven waves. The result was a coma that looked restless, almost alive, refusing to follow the slow, predictable script of a solar system comet. Compared with 2i Borisov, the last interstellar comet, the difference was stark. Borisov acted like a local, water-rich, dust-laden, familiar. Atlas felt alien. Its coma didn't just mark activity, it became a signpost of its origin. The gas ratios written into its glow were not from our backyard, but from the deep cold of another star system. To telescopes on Earth, Atlas was never just a faint dot. The coma turned it into a beacon, flickering in ways that carried clues about the world it came from. Every surge of brightness meant another layer of foreign ice giving way, another burst of material untouched since the dawn of a different star. Watching it was like catching a signal broadcast in light, repeating one message. This is not the kind of comet you know dust that bends light wrong. The coma of 3 Irie Atlas wasn't the only surprise. When scientists studied the way light scattered through its dust, they found a signal that broke the rules. The dust wasn't reflecting sunlight like the grains of other comets. Instead, it showed what's called extreme negative polarization, a deep, narrow dip in the light curve that almost no other comet has ever displayed. Polarization may sound technical, but the effect is simple. When light bounces off particles, it usually scatters in predictable patterns. The angles of that scatter tell you about the dust, how big the grains are, how rough or smooth their surfaces might be. Atlas didn't fit the template. Its dust was behaving like it had been shaped under conditions that don't exist here. The implication was that the grains were either unusually fine, oddly structured, or made of materials that scatter light differently. Some astronomers suggested that Atlas's dust might be more porous, like tiny flakes or glassy shards. Others thought it could be a sign of chemistry unique to its birthplace, compounds locked into its structure that alter how light moves through. Whatever the answer, the signal was clear. The dust didn't belong to the familiar catalogue of solar system comets. That single detail turned Atlas 
into more than just a comet with strange gas. It meant that even its solid particles, the smallest fragments it shed into space, carried the signature of another star system. Every photon of sunlight passing through that halo was being bent and twisted in a way no local comet could produce. To observers, it was like seeing fingerprints in light itself. The coma was bright, the tail stretched behind it, but hidden inside that glow was proof that the dust of Atlas came from somewhere else entirely. It was another reminder that this was not a borrowed comet from the edges of our own system. It was a messenger carrying alien dust, scattering sunlight in a pattern that could only have been written under a different sun. Seeds of planets. 3. I Atlas isn't just a curiosity drifting through space. Some scientists believe objects like it may be far more important than they look. Astrophysicist Suzanne Falzner proposed a striking idea. Interstellar comets might act as the seeds of planets. In young star systems, dust and gas swirl in vast disks, slowly clumping into bigger pieces. The problem is, those clumps often fall apart before they grow large enough to form a planet. But what if something bigger dropped in from outside, a solid body already kilometers wide, built in another system. That visitor could act like a foundation, pulling in dust and gas around it, speeding up the entire process of planet building. Computer models support the possibility. A steady rain of interstellar comets passing through young disks could give planets a head start. Instead of taking millions of fragile attempts for dust to stick together, one captured comet might do the job in a fraction of the time. That could explain why giant planets form so quickly around some stars, faster than theory predicted. If that's true, then 3i Atlas is more than a wanderer. It's an example of the galaxy's hidden trade network, where systems swap material across light years. Our solar system may have borrowed visitors like Atlas in its own youth, comets that stayed behind and grew into something larger. The reverse is also true. Our comets may have been ejected long ago, carrying traces of the sun into other skies. The thought changes the way we see interstellar debris. These aren't just icy rocks adrift between stars. They could be the sparks that make worlds possible. Atlas, in this view, isn't simply passing through. It represents the mechanism by which planets are planted, scattered, and grown across the galaxy. A process that makes the universe feel far more connected than we ever imagined. The green fire phenomenon. When 3i Atlas flared into view, it didn't just glow, it burned green. The coma lit up with an emerald hue so sharp that it startled observers, even showing clearly during the lunar eclipse of September 2025. Comets are often pale, sometimes bluish, but Atlas carried a color so vivid it felt unnatural, like a flare fired across the night sky. Green light in comets usually comes from diatomic carbon, a molecule that glows when broken apart by sunlight. But Atlas's green wasn't the faint tint seen in other comets. It was deeper, brighter, more spread out, almost as if the comet was producing these molecules in impossible amounts. For weeks, the glow stayed strong, defying easy explanations. That color made Atlas stand out. Borisov, the last interstellar visitor, had looked ordinary, icy, Dusty, predictable. Atlas, by contrast, pulsed like a beacon. Its spectrum already showed a chemistry dominated by exotic ices. And now, the green light hinted at processes beyond the standard playbook. Was it the heavy load of carbon dioxide driving the reaction? Was it an unknown compound hiding in the mix? Whatever the cause, the glow made one thing clear. This comet wasn't just foreign, it was chemically loud. The effect was more than spectacle, color, is code. Every shade is a clue to the molecules being released, and those molecules point back to the environment that built them. The green blaze of Atlas was chemistry written in the sky, a direct signal that its birthplace was unlike our own. For anyone watching, the comet's light carried a message. Not all visitors from the stars arrive quietly. Some announce themselves with a flash of color, a reminder that the galaxy's chemistry isn't uniform. 3i Atlas chose green, and in doing so, it showed just how alien a comet can be. Thermal heartbeat and signals. As data on 3i Atlas built up, another strange detail surfaced. Its glow didn't just brighten randomly. Some teams reported a faint rhythm in the activity, a kind of thermal heartbeat 
Pulsing every few hours, the comet seemed to release energy in bursts, not in the smooth fade that solar heating should produce. That pulse was subtle, buried in the measurements, but it caught attention because it was consistent enough to raise questions. Was the nucleus spinning in such a way that pockets of ice were exposed and hidden on a cycle, or was something deeper driving a periodic surge of gas? Ordinary comets often show irregular jets, but a repeating beat was harder to explain. At the same time, radio instruments monitoring the sky flagged faint, unusual signals near the comet's position. The readings didn't line up with known natural processes, but they were weak and noisy, hard to confirm, easy to dismiss as interference. Still, the coincidence of a thermal pulse and odd radio noise was enough to stir speculation. For some, it was a reminder of how little we understand about interstellar debris. Ice formed in another star's cradle could vent in ways we've never modeled. Exotic chemistry might create cycles of release that mimic a pattern. For others, it sparked bolder questions. Could a repeating signal be something more than ice cracking in the sun? The idea was fringe, but Atlas already carried so many anomalies that nothing could be ruled out too quickly. What mattered most was that the comet refused to behave like a simple rock. Its heartbeat-like rhythm and the whispers of radio static added yet another layer of strangeness. Whether those signals came from deep inside its nucleus or from our own instruments, they became part of the story. Atlas was not a silent traveler. It arrived with a pulse, a beat carried across space, reminding us that even in the cold void between stars, some visitors keep their own rhythm, size and shape unknown. For all the measurements collected on 3i Atlas, one of the most basic questions remains unanswered. How big is it? The nucleus, the solid core hidden inside the haze of its coma, has proved stubborn to pin down. Estimates range from just a few kilometers across to more than 10, a wide gap that shows how much of Atlas is still guesswork. The problem is its activity. With comets in our solar system, brightness usually offers a clue to size. A larger nucleus produces a larger coma. But Atlas complicates that equation. Its chemistry, dominated by carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, makes it unusually active for its scale. A relatively small core could still throw off a coma as large and bright as a much bigger comet. That means brightness is no reliable guide here. Even the Hubble Space Telescope, combined with Earth's largest ground-based observatories, couldn't resolve the core directly. Instead, astronomers are left with models that depend on assumptions. How reflective the surface is, how much dust it throws off, how the gas output compares to solar system norms. Change one assumption, and the estimated size shifts dramatically. Shape adds another layer of uncertainty. Is Atlas a compact sphere, or is it elongated like Oumuamua, the first interstellar object ever seen? The irregular heartbeat of its coma suggests that Atlas may be rotating unevenly, exposing vents on different surfaces. If so, it could be anything but symmetrical. This ambiguity matters because size and shape are not just numbers. They tell us about the comet's history, how much material it carried away from its birth system, whether it survived collisions before being ejected into space, and how it has endured its long interstellar journey. Atlas, for now, keeps that part of its identity hidden. So while we know its chemistry, its coma, and even the odd ways it scatters light, the heart of Atlas, its nucleus, remains a shadow, a visitor crossing our skies, blazing with activity, yet holding back the simple truth of its form. That's it for today. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all things 3i Atlas.